In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use multiple users on the Google Home. So that means if you have one, or two, or three, or four, or five, or six, you can all use the Google Home and receive a unique response. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where we help tech work for you. And when you use multi-user support, this is able to give you a unique response to each person that you have set up. So you can set up to six people on your Google Home, and this will work with music you wanna to listen to, or flights, uh, payments, maybe you're using Google Shopping, or you want to add calendar events to your calendar. It will be unique to the person asking the question. To get set up, you first need to have your phones connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Google Home. You need a Google Home app downloaded, as well as a Gmail account on each device. The first step to using multi-users is to go into the Google Home application on the first device and make sure that you have the correct Gmail account added here, and then go to the Devices tab in the top right-hand corner, and then go to the Google Home. So here, Google Home, it says multi-user is now available. I'm just going to click on that, and now it is asking me to customize the Google Assistant with my voice. So I'm gonna say the keywords two times each to make sure that it recognizes who I am. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. So now when I ask a question, it will know that it is from my voice asking that and give me a personalized result. Once that is complete, it gives you a few things that you can try out and we'll test it out in a minute. Now, the second step is you can invite others to use your Google Home and do the same thing on their device. Here it gives me the option to invite and I can do that and it will send them a link to the Google Home application that they can download, but right now I'm going to say no thanks. Then the next step is I wanna go into my Google Home settings and I wanna customize it so that it gives me a personalized response. So here under music, I wanna make sure that whenever I, I ask it to play music, it is going to play from Google Play Music. And I could choose any of the other options there as well. Home control will work with the first account that has been added to the Google Home. So if other users want to control devices in the home, they can, it will just work off the devices that I have added. Here under the more tab, I have a few more things I can personalize. I can change my personal info. So let's say I wanna change my nickname, I can customize that right here. So that's what Google will address me as. Next, I can do payments, and that will be whenever I use the Google Shopping, that's who it will pay through, and that can be personalized for each user. Now that my device is all set up, let's add this to Carrie's. To link my account to the Google Home, I first need to go into the Google Home app. If you have not used the Google Home app before, you might see a prompt that asks you to sign into your account. If you've already been using the Google Home and don't see the prompt, you will need to click the Devices tab in the top right. Find the Google Home and select the banner that says Link Your Account. Now I will teach the assistant my voice following the prompts on the screen and saying the keywords twice. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Go ahead and push continue. Now I want to customize my default music player. I prefer Pandora, and if this is your first time, you will need to sign in to link your account. All right, now that we have it set up, let's try that out. Hey, Google. What's my name? Your name is Tech with Brad. All right, you try it, Carrie. Doesn't know my name. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay. Okay, Google. What's my name? <laughs> Your name is Carrie. <gasps> it, it knows. Is. All right, now let's try. Let's say I want to play my favorites playlist. Hey, Google. Play my favorites playlist. All right, your Google Play Music playlist called Favorite Albums. Here you go. 
And I prefer Google Play Music, oh, no, so no. it will play from there. Now, Carrie, let's try yours. That's on your favorite playlist? That's right. Okay. Okay, Google. Play Katy Perry. Sure. Here's the Pandora station called Katy Perry. And because Carrie prefers Pandora, and we set that in the Google Home app, it will always play Pandora whenever she requests for music. A few other things to note. Each user must have a Google account to link the Google Home to receive a personal response. Other guests in your home that have not linked an account will still receive a response for many shared services like music, casting, home control, and other basic questions. That means that my girls can ask the Google Home for questions, but they will not receive something specific to them because they don't have Google accounts. If you have already linked six users and want to add a different user, you will need to unlink a user. To do this, you go into the Google Home settings on the devices tab, click the settings, go to linked accounts, click the X, and then unlink account. That will then allow for space for you to add a new user to the Google Home. To remove all users from your Google Home at once, you will need to do a factory reset on the Google Home, and you can do that by pressing the mute button on the back for 15 seconds. Thank you so much for joining us today to learn all about how to set up multi-user on the Google Home. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.